All right, guys, welcome back to another video as we get caught at a yellow light that I'm going to have to run through because I'm already in the intersection. <laughs> welcome back to another video, guys. We, oh, this guy completely ran it behind me. We're about six miles out from the customer right now. Got to get this load dropped off. I don't know. So here's the thing. The pickup for this load said it was supposed to be a live load. However, it was a drop and hook. This says it's a live unload, so I don't know if it's gonna be another drop and hook or if it's actually going to be a live load. We'll find out once we get there. I love when it's false information like that. Anyway, besides the point, like I said, we're about six miles out from the customer right now. Yeah, that's the turn lane, all right, you idiot. Anyway, we're gonna get to the customer and then we're gonna check in with shipping and, or sorry, receiving. And I'll let you guys know what they want us to do from there. So give me a minute, guys, to get to the customer. I'll catch up with you guys here in a minute. All right, guys. Well, we're about a mile away right now. We'll be turning into the customer. And we already got our next load. Um, it's picking up. I think it's, like, right up the road from it, if I remember right. It's the one my trainer was telling me about that most likely would be the one that I was going to be getting out here. It's a Cabela's load. Um, maybe I'll get to go to one of the Cabela's stores. That'd be kind of cool. I've never been to one. Whether it be delivery or like uh, any, just like going to one to visit and shop around. I've always wanted to go to like a Bass Pro Shops or uh, a Cabela's. But that'd be kind of cool to get to go to one of their stores. But we got about half a mile now. This thing keeps falling down. Point three miles ahead. Turn right. Where is it at? Looking for Serta, like the bed. Because I'm hauling a bunch of coils, like for the springs in their beds. Uh, might be at this light. I would assume. Turn right. Yeah, okay. Ooh, hi. Oh, this slow down please oh my god arrived at SSV manufacturing hub all right pretty sure this is it here so they said it was around the back of the building jeez yes yeah, serta right there oh god speed bump all right um so around the back of the building, I'm gonna go this way, I'm pretty sure. It said, no, it said counterclockwise, so I have to go that way. What are you doing, truck? Okay, you're going that way, I'm going this way. I think I've seen videos of this place. I remember riding with Dave. I'm not trying to like just bring him up or anything, but I think he had a delivery here at one time. I'm pretty sure. He said around the back of the building. Is it this one or this one on my left? Oh, God, speed bump. I was too busy looking at like where the heck this place might be. Is it down that way? Maybe. I can't tell. Might be. If it is not, then I might be screwed. Uh, just trying to figure out where it is. Oh, I don't want to get back here and. Ooh. Eh, it looks like it kind of opens up back here. Yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and check in with uh, receiving here, guys, and I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, so we just checked in with receiving. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up back here. I'm going to go ahead and get my doors open, get the seal broke and all that, and have you guys watch me back in from a little bit of a different angle. We'll see how this works for you guys. Set you guys right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and open up the doors real quick. And get the trailer backed in. It is actually a live load is what they, or sorry, live unload is what they were telling me. We just got the doors open, paperwork in the back, seal in the back as well. And the truck just shut off, lovely. All right, let's go ahead. So the guy actually just told me that the buzzer just went off for their 10 minute break, which is fine. Gives me a little bit of time to let the truck start first off, second off, for me to get this in the door. Not that it's gonna take me 10 minutes, at least but better not. But it just gives me some time so I don't have to feel like I'm in a rush. Oh, I got this speed bump here. So there's a speed bump right here that I am not looking forward to utilize or not necessarily utilizing but trying to work around that's fine though we'll make it work all righty let's see if we can get this in here first try truck. That's that speed bump I was worried about. Oh geez, come on. All right, so I am getting close right there. I'm going to pull forward just a hair. That speed bump threw me off a little bit. Okay. Now, nope, didn't get it first try. We'll get it second try. Let's get it in there. forward just the hair I'm off to the right a little bit straighten it up a little bit come on there we go that's straight now okay there we go we got it from here I feel like I could have gotten this first try, but that speed bump threw me off on my setup, but it's whatever. Oh, there's the dock. Come on, bump it again. All right. And that's how it's done. All right, let's go ahead and get you guys back in. You guys aren't all in the rain. It's pretty soaking wet out here, if you ask me. Let me know how you guys like that. If you like that any better than last time with the uh, the mount on. Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like that any better with that view, or if you guys prefer with it on the mirror that I had that one time. Kind of curious to see what you guys' thoughts are. But we're gonna go ahead and finish up the computer, wait for them to start unloading, and get on uh, out of here. So, I'll catch up with you guys. All right, guys, so we just got unloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and get pulled out of here. I'm gonna pull forward and shut my doors. We got a pickup here, in, it's only about half an hour away, roughly, but. It's running to Mississippi. It's a good 2,400 plus mile load. So let's go ahead and get this trailer all buttoned up, guys. 
and I'll catch up with you guys here in a minute. got about 20 miles so we get to the next customer or the pickup I should say stupid speed bumps man forgot about it and the paint on it's kind of like faded off so all right someone's gonna take it right out of here I'm gonna wait on this light I'm not gonna try to take the risk I don't think oh we actually got it surprisingly I'm hoping that this next load is not extremely heavy. The last one I just did that I just delivered was 34 and a half thousand pounds. I'm hoping it's somewhat lighter that way it's easier on the mountains. However, I don't know if it's going to snow or not, so it might be beneficial to have a lot more weight, but I think I can make it across the mountains in the amount of time I have left on my clock, which is about six hours to drive. So we'll see. I'm not, a, I know we'll make it a, across Snoqualmie at least. However, I don't know if I'll get all the way out to Lookout Pass and all that yet or not. We'll have to find out. Doing some leaf suction, what it looks like. I'm gonna get over just for a quick sec. Don't want to take that risk, you know. All right, taking a right up here at this intersection. Ooh, a CarMax. Wonder if they could appraise this truck. Hey, CFI, if you're watching, can I take it to CarMax sometime and see what they'll offer me? <laughs> really safe light? That's not very safe of you. That'd be interesting to take like a company truck to uh, CarMax and see if they would do a an appraisal that'd be funny at the same time I'd like to see that happen huh all right <laughs> I'm just getting brainstorming here guys don't don't judge me see a safe light you got all that way just to get in front of me and stop at the light how does that make sense bud was it really that worth it Friggin' idiots, man. What the hell is this car doing, man? I can't. <sighs> Guys, really? Like. These idiots, man. I think this is. I think I need to get over anyway, I'm pretty sure. Uh. No, I need to go to south. So I need to go up. Come on, people. Let's go. Jeez, people. I know it is here I need to get going. I saw it south for Tacoma, but this says Seattle Summer, which is where I need to go. God dang it. I'm not gonna run it. Ah. All right, we finally made it out and are getting on the highway. Damn, things sounded good. 
up there's the, one of those Polaris slingshots, which I absolutely love those little things. Those are super cool little vehicles. I think they're classified as motorcycles. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that you need a motorcycle license to drive one of those. It's like a trike in a sense, so. Right lane ends. Okay, I'm gonna need to get over people. Come on, car, get past me already. Speed up. All right. Will you speed up, car? No? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's like I got over, but I, I, I needed you to speed up. But okay, it's fine, I guess. There's another car right there that I'm really looking at. It's the Toyota... Uh, <laughs> the Toyota Corolla hatchback. They're releasing a um, GR model. I'm not sure how many of you guys know that, but there's a GR model coming out, which is supposed to be like their track-oriented version. Not sure when it's coming out, but supposedly it was supposed to be this year. I think it got pushed back to next year. Well, I guess my GoPro wanted to shut off on me for some reason whatever <laughs> like i was saying they released them or they were supposed to release them this year that got pushed back i think to next year so they're supposed to be a lot of carbon that they're going to be doing for the uh i forgot what they call it but the launch edition in a sense uh you're supposed to be able to get a carbon roof carbon spoiler up the rear or like a rear wing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It looks pretty interesting. It's supposed to be a, a three-cylinder. I think it was a turbo three-cylinder as well. Um, with a manual. And it's got three exhausts. Like one on either side, on the front, or on the passenger and the driver's side, then one in the center. So it, it, it's really weird. But... That would make sense, I guess, because, like, you would need three mufflers then at that point. Unless you get them all into one muffler and then one exhaust. But that'd be kind of odd to do, in my opinion. Anyway, maybe they did it because of the sound of it. I have heard some clips online of it, like, of the audio from the exhaust on them. They sound pretty interesting for a three-cylinder. I don't know. It... It's one car I've been thinking about trying to get, maybe, but I've already got two cars at home. Obviously, I don't drive them cause, uh, that much because I'm already out and about out here driving a semi. But whenever I'm at home, obviously, I drive them. But I'd really like to at least look at them in person. I've seen all the reviews, not reviews, but like the post uh, or like the press releases and all that and them doing all the reviews of it, I guess, in that sense. But that'd be interesting to see one in person and how much they're going for. But a Toyota Corolla hatchback, GE. So I know in Europe, they have already had the Yaris GE, but it's the same engine from that, but it's tuned up a little bit as well. So it's a little bit different than the one that Europe got. And the Yaris is kind of ugly in my, in my opinion, but don't bash me too much for saying that Europeans if you're watching anyway we got 15 more miles let me catch up with you guys when we get to the customer